Every day we wake up in a slightly different world. In order to ke keep up with it, uh, we cannot uh, do the same things and know the same things that we know. We have to learn and we have to strive uh, uh, to innovate. Uh, this is maybe out of your comfort zone, but uh, this is the only way to keep up. Today we have uh, my very good friend uh, here, who is German and obviously he was working in automotive industry. But he did the change, he did his leap, it wasn't, it's not that it wasn't scary, but still he did it and he's now very happy about it and very passionate what we will be talking about. And today we will be talking about trading. Of course, trading, uh, when we say trading, we think about uh, trading the goods, but here today we will be uh, talking about, if I learned well, uh, stocks futures and uh, currencies. Forex, exactly. Forex, okay. <laughs> Baron, welcome to The Change. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you. Uh, the aim of The Change is to, ins to inspire people, to tell them, yes, it is scary to, take, uh, to make the change, to innovate, to change your life, and your life changed in one day. Exactly. It was January 2015. But let's go back and we will come to this uh, January 2015. Let's go back a few steps and just uh, talk about what you did. Uh, of course, Germans, automotive industry, that's it. Exactly, uh, yeah. Yeah. As a German, you can only be in automotive kind of, right? <laughs> <laughs> as, yeah. as if you grew up, uh, grow up in the South, right, where BMW, Mercedes is located, so somehow. But you, you were not in BMW and Mercedes. No, actually, oh. Audi Volkswagen, right? Audi Volkswagen, Volkswagen yeah. yeah. And uh, then uh, some nine years ago, uh, you finished your studies, you started in automotive industry? Exactly, right after my studies I came to Dubai and uh, started in the automotive industry at Audi Volkswagen uh, Middle East. Um, not at the dealership here in Dubai, but at the regional head office steering the entire Middle East. And I personally, I was responsible for all car pricing, car specification issues um, in the entire Middle East. So, uh, I would say that's a really high position and uh, in a really uh, good market when i say good market uh, to be employed that means you don't have taxes you just get your salary exactly and then at some point you wanted the change why well first of all i just i, I want to say that i when i don't want to demonize i don't want to demonize the corporate world but for me personally i just realized that the corporate world is not for me i um, wanted to have the flexibility in life, the independence. I wanted to be my own boss, basically. Um, and I realized I can only become independent and be my own boss if I have my own business. Okay, and then you didn't start the flower shop, you didn't start the carpentry, or you didn't start any other. You, uh, uh, how, how did you start trading? Well. As you just mentioned, ba basically in Dubai, right, we, we have the, f the uh, beauty of having a tax-free salary, right? So and if you have a decent position here in the market, if you come to Dubai as an expert, you earn also a decent amount of salary. So all this um, money basically ended up on my bank account. And I never knew what to do with that money. I just was... Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Why yeah, didn't you exactly, that? exactly. But that's... But that's the problem. It just stays there. It doesn't do anything for you. It's maybe even getting eaten up by inflation at some point of time. And as as an employee, you also disadvantage for me that I was seeing is you make basically other people rich. You work for other people. And um, I realized that this money that I have in my bank account, how can I make this work for me? How can I make the money work for me, basically, and not me as an employee always running after the money? And um, I also never knew, I never wanted to open a flower shop. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, my family back, back home in Germany is into hotel and restaurant business, but I also, I'm not a huge fan of hospitality business, mm -hmm. so this was never, um, I never wanted to go back into this um, world, so to say. So, but I also never knew what to do, basically. Um, and at this point of time, I thought, hey, what about investing or trading 
money basically, investing in the financial market, trading in the financial market, but I also was kind of scared because I obviously have no, had no clue how to do it myself. And um, I was doing a little bit of research and was looking for some academies, universities, etc., who can teach you professionally how to trade and invest in the financial market. And I ended up at one of the biggest academies, so to say. Um, um, and your first lesson yes. was in January 2015, but you couldn't focus. You couldn't be focused on this first lesson of yours. Why? Yes, I was very overwhelmed on that day because <laughs> on the first day when I started my first trading lesson at this academy, also my daughter Evangeline was born on the same day. On the same day? On the same day. I was actually, uh, <laughs> I, I still remember how I was running from the hospital after the delivery. Thankfully, everything went well. And I was literally running from the hospital, getting into the car, driving into um, the academy to take part. Um, in my first trading so, lesson. So rational of you. Very rational. So rational. I, I, I couldn't even miss, that's why I'm German, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't even miss one minute of my first trade, of, my, of, of uh, this um, new career path, so to say. Yeah. But at this point, obviously, I, I, I didn't know that this is gonna be something full-time for me at some point. Okay, so, time, so right? at, the, at the time you were still working at Of uh, course, Audi I was Volkswagen. still working at uh, full-time at Audi Volkswagen Middle East. I was just doing this in, in parallel, basically. Okay, and then uh, uh, on the, uh, somewhere around the first birthday of your uh, uh, child or of your daughter, uh, you decided uh, uh, to fully go towards trading. Actually, actually, a little bit earlier, it was um, in October in the same year, so 10 months after, because all this trading went pretty well for me, I was able to be um, able to make more money than it I was making with my job at Audi Volkswagen Middle East. So, um, and not only in one month, not only in two months, consistently month over month. And then I was realizing, well, I don't need my job at Audi Volkswagen Middle East anymore. Now it's the good Luckily time. you have a supportive wife. And I have a supportive wife, thankfully, right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, I decided that this is a good time to open up my own business, to establish my own best business, and me being my only employee, basically, as a trader. So basically, uh, when you changed your life, uh, uh, I'm talking about business now. Yes. Uh, you didn't jump out of the airplane without parachute. Exactly. Well, you didn't take the risk. Yeah? Well, exactly. There's a huge difference between taking risk and managing risk. Um, I always like to say somebody who jumps from the Bush Khalifa with a parachute, um, um, somebody who is not trained to jump with a parachute and maybe somebody who just read a book about how to use a parachute, what's the risk of most probably getting <laughs> fatally injured? Um, um, yeah. Uh, when he comes down from the Bush Khalifa, right? Um, and this is basically taking risk. Managing risk is when you take lessons, you know, um, with somebody skilled, somebody professional, how to how to use the parachute. If you have some, if you jump with a, a professional parachute jumper, so to yeah, say, yeah. and at some point and of you time, did few exactly training, training jumps, and at some yeah. point of time, you are you are capable of doing it yourself. And then this is basically managing your risk, right? And um, since I was not taking the risk just to say, now I quit my job because I don't like it anymore, um, because I was managing my risk because I was also co already consistently making money in the, in the financial market. So I say it's a good time to, to um, quit my job. So uh, you did, uh, what was, you know, uh, with entrepreneurs and uh, employees is always, uh, you know, like joking, who is better, what is better, but at some point, uh, employees think, oh, grass is greener there, and the em entrepreneurs think, oh, grass is greener there, you know, like, so what was your green grass in entrepreneurship? Uh, well, for some reason, right, it's strange, but it's assume, uh, human psychology, somehow the grass is always greener, what you don't have, basically. Of course, <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, but when I was an employee, when I was um, in the corporate world, the grass was greener as in the entrepreneur life, because they have all the f kind of the flexibility in the world. They're the they are their own boss, and they can um, they are independent in their life. They can basically 
do what they want and nobody is telling them what to do and they basically uh, work for themselves and every single hour and this is very important I believe every single hour they invest in their business it's for them and not for somebody else if I spend in a corporate world um, let's, let me generalize it um, if you spend 10 or 12 hours 16 hours a day in, in the office you get the same salary at the end of the month so um, um, nobody's really valuing uh, how much time you spend in, in, in the office as opposed to if you spend more time that's what I firmly believe in your own business then most most likely your business is going to grow you can scale up your business and at the end of the day maybe your business gets more successful okay so you started trading the money was there already and then at some point uh, uh, you were at this academy like a student and tomorrow they're asking you to do some exactly lessons it was just as a, as a it was actually um, four months five months after I quit my job at Audi Volkswagen at least it was beginning of 2016 they asked me if I don't want to um, also um, motivate inspire and of course teach people how to trade in the financial market at their academy and I was at this time I was very very um, proud actually that I'm now able can that I'm now able to um, teach what I'm passionate about or do what I'm passionate about because at, at the end of the day you have to understand that trading is all also because you're your only employee uh, it's a lonely business uh -huh. so you basically sitting in front of the screen pressing the button you cannot talk about you okay. cannot talk uh, you cannot talk about trading with anybody my wife literally doesn't doesn't care about trading. Of course. <laughs> my wife doesn't care about my, my, my exactly she so only cares about the bank account exactly. that's, that's the only thing but at the end of the day if you're passionate about something you want to talk about this as well yeah. um so that's why g you giving me the opportunity also to teach so to talk about um, trading and to talk about with like-minded people this is very important and not to talk with people who don't care about this yes this, this, so, this. so people who go on these uh, courses yeah. are people who would like to know more about trading exactly who would like but to, yeah. but what would you say now uh, to the audience that is watching us uh, why they should uh, or, or to get more interest in trading what is there in trading for them you know like like okay you, you can address the people in the camera well, <laughs> I, I, if you are considering and thinking about the changing something in your life Ben now will tell you why you could go towards trading well camera is yours camera is mine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well I believe that you should be able to because everybody at the end of the day wants to do what, something with their money right yeah. um, and somebody who has some money on the side the question is what to do with the money and it's very important to for me personally I think to learn how to make this money work for yourself and it's the only thing how to learn how to make money work for yourself is basically in the financial markets because there you can basically invest your money and trade trade your money uh, on commodities on stocks on currencies and then get a reasonable uh, rate of return out of it nice if you know so what it's you do, not basically. the business so basically it's not the business for someone who doesn't have money exactly I would I would always if somebody who doesn't have money I would always recommend you first need some money get get some feet on the, get some feet on the ground first get a get a get a get a, a proper job earn some money save some money and then at some point of time get into trading yeah. because of course you need money when you to invest right you cannot invest with zero money so that's why uh, trading is not for somebody who doesn't have money uh, sorry to compare uh, uh, trading with gambling because I know it is yes. but I just recently heard yeah. that in China people from one village the China village, maybe a million people. I don't know. <laughs> no, but, but people from one village get their money together and give to one of them to go to Macau because tra uh, gambling is not allowed in China mainland. Uh, so they, uh, he goes to Macau in casino and gambles for the village. Yes. So maybe someone can start 
by getting some money from the family or of course yeah. but if you are at, at, at some point of time um, it's very simple if you are uneducated um, you can always have a lucky sh lucky shot right yeah. you can make money once you can make money twice you can make money maybe 10 times in a row and you are lucky bastard so to say yeah, yeah. <laughs> but over the long term at some point of time you will lose but because only the professionals make, make money consistently over a longer period of time. It's, in, it's the same in any business, right? Um, that's how I see it. Yes. Yeah, you said you're just clicking buttons, but yeah. at some point, uh, I think that uh, all of our viewers mm -hmm. saw Wall Street, Wolf of Wall Street. Of course. And, and uh, what was that? Uh, the, the, uh, how do you say this? Uh, getting lucky with Eddie Murphy and uh, you know this old movie. Yes, yeah, very old from the eighties. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know the name. I don't know the name in English. I, don't, I know it in, in Serbian. But but uh, anyhow, in this, I remember it was like oh, we are following some news and and it was orange juice. I remember it was a commodity. It was orange yeah. juice. Yes, yes. It was orange juice. And that's a, now if we say this, we will sell and then we will buy. So basically, the st stereotype is. Yeah you are watching the news and when you see something in the news then you go and buy yes. is it like that well that's 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 one of the misconceptions or stereotypes so it's not like about that. trading it's of course not don't like do in my childhood <laughs> man i love that movie <laughs> i mean of course you could do it like that but then again you can have again one lucky shot two lucky shots yeah but you cannot become consistent Tra trading in general is about becoming consistent, consistent yeah. exactly to become um to to create a mechanic approach so to say to um, to be able to make money on a consistent base not only once not only twice over a longer period of time every week every month to make to generate some so every day and you have to click 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 or you just can set up something and uh, exactly that's how we do it we don't believe in in general we don't believe in day trading again when you hear in the news in the media you read a lot about day trading you can make money every day that's not what we believe in and it's also i've personally never met um one successful so-called day trader yeah. day trading is a myth it's just mm -hmm. day trading in general just benefits the broker why how, do, how does a broker make money by generating commission the more you execute he will generate commission so okay. that's why a broker wants you to trade on a daily basis, because the more you execute, the more money the broker makes. So that's why um, day trading just doesn't work. Because then, in this case, yes, the news and what we call the market noise plays an important role in the market because there's a lot of um, fluctuations, yes, fluctuations yes. in the market, and this is what you see on a daily basis. On a, we call it intraday, intraday mm -hmm. base. But if you have a longer term outlook on a weekly base monthly base the markets are pretty predictable are pretty mm -hmm. predictable and that's why you can also plan these market moves these big market turning points in advance you place these orders we call them set for stop entry and target and forget them basically and get a life outside trading basically as you say what is your Set, uh, set and forget and get alive. This is our motto <laughs> in our, in our set academy. And forget and, get, and alive. get alive. Because once you are professional, once you are a professional trader, the amount of time you need to spend in front of the screen is really limited. Because you don't trade on a daily basis, you trade on a weekly, monthly basis, and you need. How to many hours per day? Let's say. Per day, I would rather say per week. Um, well, my God. Um, it's maybe. Honestly speaking maybe f four to six hours a week my god yes in 21st century in 21st century yes so so uh, that's the other way around that's the that's the opposite of the core shall we quit <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's looking at me. shall we quit now <laughs> let's stop stop the presses but, but, stop the presses but, um let's put this into perspective right because this is 
when you are professional, then you can achieve this and you have achieved this goal, then you can spend less time in front of the screen. But in order to practice, in order to become professional, of course, you need the screen time. You need to sit in front of the screen. You need to watch the market moves. You need, need to understand what we call price action. Why is price moving from here to there? Why is price moving from A to B and so on? And once you have really understood um, these market moves and you are skilled enough then you need less and less and less and so your money set and forget and get the life and then your money is working for you exactly then, the money, your, for your then money. the money is working for you because you invest in the market and then um, Yes, the market is is, is, is doing its I, thing I, anyway. I shouldn't, and, yeah. I shouldn't invite so inspiring people to this to this vlog. You know, I would like to change it. You know, everything. But basically, somehow this is a, a business of a business. So all the businesses are generating some money, you know? and then on top of it, you know, no matter there there are some uh, Disney or or uh, I don't know CNN or BBC whatever. They're all on stock market. This is the stock market. So this the is other companies. Yeah, yeah. So th th that's the yeah. business of a business. Let's say you know, like you're on top of all of these businesses. Yeah. You you basically bet on. Let's generalize it. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a company, a stock market, right? Yeah. It can be a commodity. commodity. It can be gold. It can be silver. It can be crude oil. Orange juice. It can be orange juice, aluminium. like in the movie from yeah. aluminium. Any kind of future, so commodity, yeah. so to speak, or currency pairs: euro, US dollar, USD, dollar, Japanese yen, and so on. So you basically just bet on these products either going up or going down, because what a lot of um, people also don't understand that you can make money not only on the upside right you can make money on the downside as well so you can bet on prices going up uh -huh. and you can make money on bet, uh, on 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 prices going down this is called going short this is what they mm. also yeah, in the movie yeah, yeah big the big short, big short yeah. also hollywood movie right yeah yeah um so he was betting do you advise, do you advise to watch the those movies and to I watch those movies. It's, it's very, it's motiv It's fun, right? It's fun. And if you understand a little bit about trading, it's just uh, you understand more about the background, what they're actually doing. Yeah. Big short. I don't know if you have watched it, but yeah. if if yeah. you if you are not aware of trading options, what they did basically, then it's really abstract. You have no clue actually what what they did. Yeah. But if you have a, a little a small idea of what they're doing, it's just even more fun to watch it. Yes, yeah. of course. So uh, basically. The, the most important thing is to have your broker and to know them. <laughs> <laughs> like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> you know, exactly. and, and he was also saying, you know, like the only thing what, what brokers want is for people to trade all the time to get the commission. That's the and point. never to pull the, their money. Uh, uh, you said that you quit your job mm -hmm. as, and as an entrepreneur, you have some profits. So you are getting a salary. Yes, exactly. So you are getting a salary, your salary. I'm getting my own salary and in trading, it's it's very interesting. What I like about trading is that you basically determine your own salary, right? By the risk you take per trade. So let's assume now, let's do a little bit of math here, right? Yeah. So that, uh, that everybody can follow as well. Let's assume I take 10 trades, okay. right? And on these 10 trades, on each trade, I take $100 of risk. Okay. Let's, let's assume that um, I, I'm, I make, I win set out of these 10 trades, I make, uh, I have six winners and four losers. And I okay. risk on every single trade $100. Mm -hmm. So I made $600 and I lost $400. So at the end of the month, or at the end of the week, yeah. whatever it is, the time the time frame doesn't make yeah. just doesn't play a role here. You have profit, a P and L, a positive P and L of two hundred dollars. So you are running basically a profitable business. Two hundred dollars, you're running a small business, but you're still running a business. So trading at the end of the day is a, is a business and can never be a hobby because you're trading your own person, personal course. money, right? So if you see it as a hobby, then you're already, I would say, doomed to lose all your money because it's a business like any other business in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. So, um, some kind of point. like you have a lover, you have a spend time with her. <laughs> not, not to compare it once. No, but so, of but, course, but the point is that you, you now risked a hundred dollars, right, per trade. Yeah. That's that was our example. If I now want to scale up my business, if I want to have a bigger business, I just risk 
200, exactly yeah, yeah. 200 dollars per trade and I don't make 200 dollars if I'm consistent in my approach and not gambling because then I don't know what's the outcome at yeah. the end of the day if I have a consistent approach mechanical approach um, then I make 400 dollars and if I'm consistent with the 200 dollars of risk maybe I at some point of time I risk not 200 I risk 2000 dollars and I don't make 400 dollars I make four thousand dollars and in trading you can scale up your business there is basically an infinity number how you can scale up your business because the market is so big it can digest any number you want so basically yeah that's that's the the beauty of it but also uh, uh, somebody also saw you and said oh this guy Ben he's very good at it let's give him some billions to run the uh, yes, things uh, <laughs> actually what what you can yeah. say i don't know yeah it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Financial, yeah yeah whatever you can say yes. is interesting of, to know of that. course um no how i got to um running um a hedge fund as well because i'm also a hedge fund manager is that i was starting my own free webinars basically mm -hmm. to just to showcase people people what is possible in the financial market because it's very very abstract for a lot of uh, people for the general public it's very abstract so I was just starting my my free webinar free webinars free webinars I was you just wanted to share the knowledge there is no a back plan no no I was actually I was actually just doing the following I wanted to show people yeah what is possible in the market and to predict future market moves I was I wanted to show people that, that we are capable of predicting the market move in the future. Ah, something uh, it, was it a webinar with a crystal ball, and then? <laughs> <laughs> well, they are all on YouTube. You can check them out. Ah, yeah, well, no, we will give the link in yeah, the description. Of course, definitely, yeah, um, sure. but um, I will not do the free webinars anymore. I will talk about this later. Yeah. But the point is that I was just advertising them through my small Instagram profile, right? Yeah. And it's only a few months later we got 120 um, weekly followers on these on these um, free webinars and we were predicting some we were predicting some nice uh, market moves when everybody was saying sell gold we predicted that gold will go up and we say buy gold right and gold went up we predicted the um, in 2018 when when euro US dollar was trading at 125 126 we said from there euro will crash there will be a t there will be a recession in, in europe something will go down in europe we don't know what we don't care what but the chart and you can you can I tell by, the by the chart by just looking at the chart we will we will be are capable of knowing what's not knowing but predicting with very high accuracy with very um with a lot of probability to know what's happening in the future. So now we have to put the music in the vlog. <laughs> it's a kind so, of magic. <laughs> no, but, so, so, yeah, so, so, but the, the, the funny part is that, you know, I can tell you now stories, what we did here and there, but it's all like saved, you know, f on, on YouTube, what we said in 2017, what's going to happen in 2018. And at this point, when we said it's time to sell the euro against the US dollar, there's going to be some something happening. We don't care what's happening in the economy, but we just know that it's gonna go down we don't care why so it's basically gonna go you don't down. have to read the news and exactly you, don't you just to, see everything exactly, on the screen see everything on the ch screen on the charts we do a, the analysis uh, by by the chart we call the analysis supply and demand analysis we don't have to go into this um, um, how Amazing. To do this Amazing. Um, but but um, we were predicting that the euro is gonna go down and since then the euro is basically um, crashing um, uh, compared to the uh, US dollar. Uh, US dollar exactly and um, well one of the one of a big broker in Europe saw these webinars as well mm -hmm. um, by coincidence and they saw that because all of them and then when I was saying basically buy gold even they were saying yeah. sell gold sell gold you were right and I was right and they were like how did this guy was <laughs> saying uh, how could he know that gold is gonna go up and it was not only gold, it was so many good examples that we, um, so many good predictions that we had in these in these webinars. And they asked me for an interview and asked me if I want to run a hedge fund for them. And this is how I came to run a Amazing. hedge fund for them. And in parallel, I was still, I was still teaching occasionally at this academy where I also learned how to trade. So basically, in in this. Uh you just started doing those uh, uh, Instagram posts yes 
predicting something, yeah. not, yeah. not to see the reaction. Was the exactly yeah. we, we wanted to see if the people want to see that or not. You know, if the people really care or not. And the reaction for us, because we didn't do any advertising whatsoever, yeah, just on yeah. our Instagram page, was actually overwhelming because um, we got so much um, 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 response. And so for them, it was really like seeing these market prediction really playing out nicely. For them, it was like really looking into the magic wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. us, it was kind of for everybody. <laughs> trust me, <laughs> yeah. for everybody is you know like yeah, yeah, yeah. really, really thing. Uh, so, so you had you have still, but you you had a lot of free time. Uh, the daughter is growing exactly. now. Everything is <laughs> everything is fine, and uh, uh, still uh, uh, you, you didn't want to stop there. Obviously, from the beginning of this vlog, it is your passion. Exactly. And uh, uh, thanks to uh, the, the 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 new technologies and everything, you don't have to go and call your blog broker. He is there waving. How do you call this when they're waving? Uh, floor trading, pit trading. Floor trading. trading. There's no, no more. Yeah. No more floor trading. It's, it's a, these floor traders are a dying species. There's also a nice. Um, um, documentary about it on on YouTube it's available it's called yeah. floor traders and floor traders. Called, yeah exactly and it's about basically why this is a dying species because of the internet revolution in the 90s because everything got um, online online and everybody has ex everybody had access to internet and also to broadband internet I remember the times when I was still young when we had the modems oh, you know oh, like sure. these sounds beep, beep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were downloading mp3s with three kilobytes oh, yeah. Yeah, horrible right and then in the 90s all of a sudden everybody got access to broadband internet right for a reasonable amount of money as yeah. well so that's why also the financial market um, um, use that yeah, use yeah. that yeah. Uh, technology to to um, uh, yeah so basically, uh, the innovation brought the trade market to this point, and this point is basically everybody can assess. Is it? Uh, can I can I go now online? That's, that's the dangerous part, right? Um, now it's the democratized. Good, it's it's, yeah. it's it's there are always two sides of the medal, right? Yeah. The good thing about that everything is now online and available for everybody. That is like um, that you have kind of easily accessible so to say right and you don't have to call your broker you have to wait for them to execute your order and it's a long lasting process and so on now everybody can get access easily but this is also where the danger lies uneducated people how i like to say grandma and grandpa right can just easily you can within like one day let's say even less than one day within 60 minutes you can open up a brokerage account you can de deposit some money with your visa card and you can call and you can execute a trade you can press the buy and sell button and you can call yourself a trader right because you executed a trade but because there is no what's the definition of a trader this is also something that is because everybody who has a brokerage account can call himself basically so a trader. basically That's the problem right and it's not about people ask me always how do I execute an order? How can I how can I sell and how can I buy in the market? And I always tell them that's the wrong approach. That's the easy part. Everybody can press buy and sell. This is yeah. so easy. That's not learning a um, learning a system, learning a program. That's the easy part. But getting the skill, how to use, you know, um, the tools that are provided to you. That's the. It's not important how. To, uh, it's not important how to use the system. It's important, you know when to know when to buy and when to sell basically to under, to, to learn the skill of trading no, it's not so basically uh, the, my question is uh, grandma and grandpa here yes. some uh, teenager there yeah. and is it the same platform all the big shots and the big companies and the big traders are trading of course if you trade if you trade let's assume you trade um, a commodity crude oil or you yeah. trade one the s p 500 right yeah. or you trade the euro us dollar if you trade these markets this is the same this is the same platform so to oh say where you know you have the big banks and institutions where warren buffett is buying and selling selling where goldman sachs where bank of america where uh, Morgan stanley where all these big banks influential powerful banks are buying and selling and in this on the same table basically i always like to refer to a poker table on the same table is sitting grandma and grandpa the uneducated retail trader so to say who just opened up a, a brokerage account and thinks now he can 
make millions of dollar in the market, um, of course, it's you just have to use uh, common sense. You know where the money is yeah. going to, because at the end of the day, trading is a zero sum game. What does it mean? It's a zero sum game. The money has to come from somewhere, right? The money is not growing on the uh, growing on the trees. Unfortunately, yeah. money is not raining. The money is circulating in the world. The money is circulating. From whom to whom the money is circulating? Do you think the money is circulating from the banks to the teenager to grandma or grandpa yeah. or the other way around? Of course the other way around. And these banks and institutions, of course, they use their power to get more and more novice traders, amateur traders into the market because for them it's an easy... Ah, right? so there is uh, a big plan behind of it. Of course it's not there's a big plan. Some people would say this is conspiracy whatsoever but it's 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 very it's very it's, it's true it's, it's true it's, 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 it's money has to come from somewhere and the money goes from the unknown uneducated unskilled people to the people let me call it people right yeah. institutions banks who know what they're doing in the financial market that's how it goes and then and then uh, uh, okay we uh, it's accessible to everyone and then uh, uh, but now you have your own academy yes exactly and uh, on this academy, you try to educate people to become uh, 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 educated traders, exactly, and not to be grandma and grandpa. Or the, the nice else. thing, or, or the unique, the unique thing about our academy that we just launched this year, in, um, um, first of January, we launched the our academy online trading campus, is that we offer lifetime guidance and support so all our students get lifetime guidance and support and we literally trade with them together it's like everything online because the world is now um is now online basically nobody wants to sit anymore in a physical classroom because a physical mm -hmm. classroom can be also intimidating right yeah. you have more advanced people in a, in a physical classroom you have um, um, uh, people who are completely new to a topic in a classroom and maybe some of these people might feel intimidated by one of the other and trading trading um, educating online gives you the flexibility to to um, attend these classes whenever you want as well because all of our classes are online and as I said we are we are trading with them um, live together it's like you're sitting next to me mm -hmm. I'm you basically having to, to, sitting at home having two screens on one screen you're trading with your own brokerage account mm -hmm. on the second screen you see basically what I'm doing or mm -hmm. uh, what one of our expert traders is doing and you basically just if I tell you here's a good good place to buy gold here you put your set your entry your stop loss your target you can basically just copy my trade and um, benefit from my analysis as well and we offer this um, because trading it's a long-lasting process Trade, as I just said, um, trading education in general can never be. Trading is not an event, right? I hear people saying, "I went through this it's seminar." It's not a sprint; it's a marathon. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. That's how I would say it. You cannot. You cannot say. You cannot go. You cannot go. I hear people. Oh, I went through this three-day seminar. I went to this seven-seven-day course, and now I'm a trader. How can you learn a profession in seven days? Tell me. It's like becoming a doctor or like a lawyer or like an engineer. In a week. In a, in a week. week. Yes, yeah. exactly. It's common sense. It cannot work. But the perception in the public exists that trading, you just manage to become like a trader like in a week. Yeah. I attend this course and I'm a trader. Of course not. It's a business like any other business. It's a profession like any other profession. And that's why we offer everything. What we offer is lifetime. You enroll once and then you have like lifetime access. You can attend all our courses, all our live trading um, um, uh, webinars. We trade now, um, we, we have live trading webinars almost on a daily basis where you can attend and see how we trade and basically learn from, copy us. Yeah, is it, is it that's uh, like if you are doing with one uh, 10,000, I can do with a hundred exactly, and copy, 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 copy and it will be the... And once you get better, you start risking more, you scale up yeah. your business. Exactly, that's, the, that's what we call, what we personally call a milestone plan that we, we with, together with, uh, with our students, um, we determine some milestones. Once they are able, once they are capable to scale up their business to risk more basically. So yes, you start maybe $10, $100 and at some point of time, 
he risked also a thousand dollars, two thousand. So, uh, uh, just a w a really uh, direct question. So, uh, if someone is getting a salary of, let's say, twenty thousand dirhams, yes. In order to have this in a uh, uh, trading business, mm -hmm. this amount monthly. Uh, how much you want to? How much you, you have, have to risk? risk yeah. Per trade? Yeah, per, I don't know. Per, per trade, month. Per month. We, we, we always we always talk in trading about risking per tr per single trade. Okay. So twenty thousand dirhams in dollars is roughly four five five. five, five let's say five. Let's five. say five thousand dollars. So in order to make five. Which is a medium. Uh, medium uh, level manager manager yeah, five thousand dollars yeah so in dubai in in order what is what is achievable and really realistic yeah. Yeah. is also in a shorter period of time yeah. is that you risk uh, start risking um two thousand five hundred dollars per trade okay per trade and then on average you can achieve five thousand dollars per month I say on average. Yeah. Of course, you have maybe month where you make, where you make ten thousand dollars. But then know. you have month where you maybe break even. Yeah. Or you have month where you are losing a yeah, little yeah, bit. Of course. Because it's never only going up. It's in trading. It's like a, any other business, your own business. You don't make the same amount of money every single month, right? You have very of good course. month. Yeah. You have quiet month, and you have maybe months where you maybe have more expenses than profit. But how much money you have to have in your portfolio? In order to get this twenty thousand. Okay, that's also very, very, very. Uh, it's a good question. So, as we said, we need to risk roughly um, two thousand two thousand five hundred dollars per single trade yeah. to achieve realistically an average salary per month of five thousand yeah. dollars. So now we are we 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 teach our students how to trade not only stocks but also forex and futures so stocks are the first ones that's the exactly. companies stocks in, in stocks exactly the companies okay. you trade the companies Microsoft, this is basically, uh, Visa or, exactly yeah, yeah. exactly Microsoft Apple Netflix yeah. and so on um, Tesla very overvalued stock yeah, really? okay, <laughs> absolutely yeah. um, so that's stocks and then stocks, exactly. is this is basically future. if I can if I yeah. can explain this with an analogy with stocks you learn how to drive because this is this is basically you trade without leverage. If driving I can, license, like this is basically you make your driving license exactly. You get skilled in driving, and um, in a in a small car, in a Toyota Yaris, right? In the Middle East, Toyota Yaris is very popular. So yeah. you learn how to drive in a Toyota Yaris. So now, at some point of time, you're a very skillful driver, right? You want to drive a bigger car. You cannot jump from after your driving license. You cannot jump to a Ferrari. The likelihood that you're going to crash your Ferrari is. Yeah very high yeah, right yeah, sure. <laughs> because you're not painful, used to painful. you're not used to 500 600 horsepower yeah. right you have to get used to 500 600 horsepower and this is exactly what forex and futures is because with forex and futures you you have leverage what does it mean leverage um, you you basically need only a little bit amount in your in your in your account in order to control a lot uh -huh. so basically in a forex or futures account you you need only a thousand dollars in your account, but you can control a hundred thousand dollars like you would have a hundred thousand dollars in your stock account, and you can mm. achieve the same return on investment like you would have a hundred thousand dollars in your stock account. However, in a futures or forex account, in the futures is a little bit different, but this is just for the public. Yeah. In a forex account, um, you need only a thousand dollars. This is what we then call leverage hundred to one, for example, and you can have mm. even leverage in the Middle East. Um, since it's not really regulated in, in Europe, it's now a little bit different. You can even have a leverage from one to five hundred, right? Wow. Um, so it's like you have a hundred dollars in your account, and you so I have a like hundred. I control five thousand. 500, five hundred thousand. Five. Wow. Five hundred thousand. Exactly half a and million. And then I get the, the the same return on investment like you would have if you five hundred thousand dollars in your. That's why. It's that's no. why it, it sounds all like. What? Like fairy tales and nice. Really, yeah. and wow, I I need only a thousand dollars and I control half a million. Wow, I I add two thousand dollars in my account. Now I control a million dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna be a rich dude in no time, right? But that's very important to understand. 
that's the Ferrari, right? It needs time to be able to drive a Ferrari. Yeah. Right? You need to be skilled because if you're not skilled and you just have the perception to let's make money with the let, or let's yeah. let's get into the race car and drive yeah. the race, you're gonna crash. And that's that's what, what happens to all the uneducated, unskilled people who just say, Let's let's try it, let's try to have a lucky shot. Let's invest some money in these highly leveraged markets, Forex and Futures, put some money in and let's hope and pray and you know wish you know, and the, uh, the price is going to go in my direction. And at some point of time, they might make money once, yeah. two times, three times. But they're very happy, yeah. but not consistently. consistently at some point, yeah. at some point of time, they're going to lose everything. This is how it okay. Goes. So, so back to our story. If you want to have a salary of five thousand dollars, yeah, I know, I was. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's good. We, yeah. we cross the. What is the so uh, let's, that's amount right. you should so, have to play with or to so work let's, with? Let's, work take, with. let's take into account you have a kind of a normal leveraged account of 1 to 100, not 1 to 500. It okay. doesn't actually matter yeah. the leveraged amount. Okay. But let's assume 1 to 100, which is reasonable. Um, to, to risk $2,500 per trade, I would say to have, well, it's to have between if you let's assume you're already skilled, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Not like any, any. Yeah. You know, you're already skilled and you're like already Maria, consistent. Like Maria, skilled. like Maria, Maria <laughs> still needs a little bit more time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but okay, she okay. will be skilled. She's doing very well. Okay, by the way, okay. she's doing very well. Um, um, that you you need roughly twenty, thirty thousand dollars in your account. So you have to have thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. And you have to be skillful. And you have to be skillful. Uh, uh, medium to high skill yeah. skills. And then you will have, so basically, uh, if I calculated, if I did the math well, like year or two practicing with hundreds, 200, 100, 200, something like that, and practice, 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 after two years, and with an amount of, let's say, 30 to 50,000 mm. dollars, you can expect, not guaranteed, but you can expect to have the... You always talk on average, right? Yeah, of course. You, have, of course. you might have a really crazy good month. Right, but then you have like a month that is rather you know yeah. break even, or you have maybe a losing month. But um, overall, it's then the average that can. Um, yeah. Since you're so just to have the yeah. the clear picture uh, uh, about that, and and still uh, uh, with your academy and uh, academies like yours, uh, you know, there are m more and more uh, skilled and and, and uh, uh, Of course, we exactly because we, we train them and they. Um, especially the, the, the newcomers who just started, they are very happy that they can, you know, trade basically with us. They can trade our setups, they can trade our, we call them trade ideas when we tell them, now it's a good time to to sell the Euro US dollar, then they, they execute the same trade that we do. They feel very confident and this is how they build confidence. That's how they build the skill. They, they understand, they will learn how a good trading setup will look like. And this is how they build the confidence. If I, have, if, if I have 50,000 US dollars yes. and I sign up for your course and then after the course... I wanna, can I interrupt you really quick? Yeah. I don't like the word course. Ah, because sorry. It's, not, it's, it's a lifetime program. What does a, what does a course imply? A course implies a there start a and an end, yeah, it's yeah, a finish yeah, yeah. line. But in trading, there's never a finish line because you always want to scale up your, your business. You don't want to stay, you don't want to stay, you don't want to stay, uh, you don't want to stagnate, right? But what we haven't talked about it is the, is the there are always two sides of the equation. Um, or let's say there are, there are, there are two variables. It's one is the, the skill that mm -hmm. is more simple to learn. I don't want to use the word easy, yeah. right? Because it's never easy. It's more simple to learn. But the more, the most difficult part is are, are your emotions. Is basically to control yourself. To control yourself. Yeah. What do you think? If you trade with the risk of fifty dollars, do you feel the same way? If you trade with the risk of fifty thousand dollars, most no. probably not. <laughs> no. Right? Most probably not. You feel will feel completely different. That's why you slowly have to scale up your business and you slowly have to get used to these big numbers. So that's why it's that's why we offer everything lifetime because it's at end of the day a lifetime program and it's at, at, at some point of time the skill is you, 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 you are skillful at some point of time, you are a skilled trader. 
but the emotional, the mental game, confidence, it, the, the mental game will always be there on a daily basis because you will always, at some point of time, s slowly scale up your business. And the more you risk, the more emotional, of course, you get because you're a human being, right? But by being by being consistent and by having a mechanic approach to the market, and not by being um, predominantly by being objective, right? You're not mm -hmm. subjective. If you watch yeah. the news, you're very objective because, yeah, uh, yeah you're very subjective, right? Yeah. Because you believe yeah. whatever is in your happening in your mind, whatever they said, you think it's a good sign, it's a bad sign, blah, blah, blah. But you have to become con um, objective and only by becoming um, objective to the market, you can become consistently profitable. And then, once you're consistently profitable and objective to the market, then you can slowly scale up your business. And of course, you have to admit you will feel different uh, whether you trade with $50 or $500 or $5,000 or $50. Dollars. Your, your heart rate will look different. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for, for sure. sure. No, the, as you said, managing, like, the yeah, yeah. managing the managing risk. Managing the risk. Managing the risk. They say when you drive a car, first time you, 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 you sit by yourself, without an instructor, uh, you're, you're stressed, your palms are sweating, exactly. everything is... They say that every time you enter the car, your body reacts the same. The only thing you learn is to manage that risk. Exactly. So this is you, you just see the numbers and then you now, you know, you execute, you know. And, and at the beginning, your first trade, you for sure remember your... I, first, 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 I first, even first. printed it out and yeah, stuff, for you sure. know. Stuck it on my wall. <laughs> Thankfully, the first trade was also a winner. I, I, I remember it in the futures market, natural gas. I made like four hundred ninety dollars or something. <laughs> but but you know, it's the first trade, and you feel like yeah. 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 That's good. Okay, uh, so so uh, we have, we were talking about the past and present, and what do you see in the future? What what what's your perspective? What uh, good? Or what, what what could happen with the trading with markets and? What needs to change? What, to, what well, in in general, I think, and this is what we are seeing already, that the markets in Europe, especially also in the U.S., are getting more regulated. So not everybody that the leverage also is going down. Um, mm -hmm. They decrease the level leverage in the forex and futures market, so um, people don't start driving a Ferrari. Uh, are not able to drive a Ferrari from the get-go <laughs> yeah. and they're not like uh, putting their hard-earned money at risk that the markets are getting more regulated so not um, everybody can trade these highly leveraged asset classes they are not also because of the Forex the well the only downside of the Forex market is basically it's an I hear a lot of people saying that they are uh, trading on an exchange when they trade mm -hmm. Forex but Forex is not trading only futures and stocks are trading um, regulated through real exchange forex currencies you trade through banks your forex broker is just basically the interface between you and uh -huh. the, 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 bank. the banks exactly uh, because a bank would never give you um, if you come if you go now to a bank right and say well here I have a thousand dollars can I get a can I get a please a loan of a hundred thousand dollars the, <laughs> the guy would say uh, <laughs> most likely you're crazy that's why you have the forex brokers they give you this one on one exactly they give you this yeah. loan basically yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. right so but um, we see in the future way more regulated market so less less and less people can can start driving a Ferrari from the get-go um, and um, we we also s want going to see most likely less brokers, um, only the big brokers surviving, because there are more regulations for brokers as well um, um, in the future. Yeah, in the future, um, more regulations for brokers, so people don't fall into traps to choose like bad brokers where they never see the money again because out there right now right um, um, everybody can become a broker if you have enough capital and if you live in the right region somewhere in Greece for instance you yeah. can open up a, a brokerage account um, so there will be also some regulations for brokers so 
you be kind of your money. You 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 can be certain that your money is secure. I, I, as well. I would I, I would expect something uh, uh, like regulations from a German guy. You know, yeah. like <laughs> everything has to be regulated. Uh, that's the, that's the, the uh, point for sure. And uh, as we mentioned uh, earlier, uh, not in the vlog, but before yeah. the vlog, uh, in two thousands there were there was a dot com bubble. Yes. And there are a lot of movies about that, and there are a lot of documentaries about it. And dot com bubble burst, and uh, a lot of people lost a lot of money, and so on. Twenty years after, fast forward twenty years after, five out of ten biggest companies in the world are actually online companies. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of. Uh, Forbes 500 companies, which are uh, 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 online services and so on. So it took 20 years uh, for this uh, market to, uh, let's say, regulate, let's actually, say, to actually, mature. Actually, we had another crash, right? In 2008, yeah. it was the housing bubble, housing, right? Yeah. Big Short, the movie yeah, was yeah, about yeah, yeah, the yeah, housing sure. bubble, right? So in the past 150 years, the market is basically regulating him. It's, it's regulating itself. So in the past 150 years, every, in, on average, every seven and a half years, seven and a, half, and a half years, we saw a market crash. We had 1923, we had, we had, um, we had uh, in the 50s something, um, we had then the most recent one, 2000, yeah. the dot com, yeah. right? The tech bubble we had in 2008. We had the housing bubble. And this is and one of the longest runs. It's actually the longest. The longest. It's the it longest. Become the longest. It is the now the longest yeah. ever, the longest cycle ever without seeing any market crash. So the the and this is where I want. Are you preparing? And this is and this is where I want to address. You know all the um, um, buy and hold investors. You maybe have heard about the terms buy and hold. Yeah. When you just buy something you put it in the market and you just leave it there for 20, 30 years, uh -huh, right? right? And then you hope it's going to go up. Right now, it's not a good time for buy and hold because we are at the stage where we have the long, the, 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 the longest cycle of an, of an up market, almost, almost ending, right? We are, if you, if, if you ask now, are we, are we low positioned right now? Is yeah. the market low or high? The market is very, very high, right? The market is very, very high. So the likelihood that the market at some point of time will collapse, will collapse, will gonna go down, will, will basically, um, yeah, will go down, will crash, will crash is higher, then it's gonna go, um, continue to go up another two, three, four years. So if you're a buy and hold investor, and you just basically planning to invest right now just blindly to buy something yeah. it's the wrong time because you're going to buy high okay uh, so that that and makes perfect sense but yeah. uh, i heard some of the uh, experts uh, in finance and in, in, in uh, business yeah. and uh, gary v and uh, um, tony robbins yes they were saying they are looking forward to the next uh, collapse of the market. Yes. Why do we think that is? Maybe I. Ask. <laughs> uh, I uh, my my opinion yeah. is that, that they think that they are looking forward to it because they have some cash. Yeah. And when the market is down, they want to buy something. Actually, it, as I said, it's the opposite. Because, as we said at the beginning, you can make money on two sides of the market. You can go long. You can buy. Yeah. You can buy something, wait for price to go higher, and then sell it. So you make money on the upside, uh, yeah. or you can short the market. Mm -hmm. You can bet on the downside. You can sell something without having something. In the stock market, we call this, you borrow it basically. You borrow stocks from your uh -huh. broker. You bet on the downside. You bet that prices are gonna go down. So you sell it without owning it. It's possible in the financial no, no, market. No, no, no. That's that's a, a quantum <laughs> physics. No, it's not. But it's, we, we could we could talk about as much if we had more time. We could talk about this much yeah, longer. No, but but or I should but, sign but, up for the uh, uh, for, uh, for the yeah. We can talk time, about yeah. this later. <laughs> <laughs> but but so you it's can basically very easy. You just have to understand. You can make money on two sides in the market. Not only buying, also on selling without even having it. We call it shorting. Right? You sell something without having it. And if you look at the market, you have also two emotions in the market. You have greed and you have fear, right? So 
greed is basically when price is going to go up, I want to have more, I want to make more, more, more. Yeah. And fear is basically when the market is crashing, so everybody's selling, 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 selling. So what do you think is the strong ah, emotion? Yeah. Fear or greed? Uh, fear. Fear, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So if fear is a strong emotion, then you know, and this is what the market crashed in 2000 and 2008, also, also showcased that the market, it took the market seven years to go up, and it took them one year to come down to the same yeah, point. Yeah. So fear is a much stronger emotion. So having said that, all these people, all these professional traders, well, I don't want to sound mean, um, but we are all looking forward to the next crash <laughs> because this yeah, is where I you can. To hear <laughs> I know, uh, and, and, and because we as a trader, it's, I know it sounds harsh, and, but, um, but this is, I'm, I want to be very transparent and very honest here that um, we don't care how the economy is doing because if the economy is doing lousy and the market is going to go down, we just short the market, yeah. we sell it and we make money on the downside and we make money even faster. So that's why everybody, Tony Robbins and co, is looking forward for the market <laughs> to go down because they just short the market and it's going to crash very quickly and they make a shitload of money. Yeah. And that's why we as the traders, we can make money regardless of how the economy is doing. This is the beauty about trading as well. Yes, uh, for me, this was really mind blowing conversation and I really uh, looking forward to continue. What would be e even more interesting to watch some, maybe to gather together here with few people, put the uh, big, uh, big short or, or any other documentary or movie on screen and watch it together with live commentary. It would be nice to see oh, what he said. No, oh, what's the point of that? Sir? Because in the, in a Wolf of Wall Street, you know, it's the point: the yacht, the the drugs, yeah, yeah, the it's alcohol, just about and, the money, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> showing but, off. In Wolf of Wall just showing off. But, but still, this uh, uh, small, small, uh, how do you call it? Big papers that he sold. I don't know those uh, companies that cannot reach the the stock exchange, whatever future. No, I don't know how, yeah. how they call it. How they call it. So. For me, it was. I, I recently watched like uh, two weeks ago, you know. So uh, to, to end up, to end up this on a, on a high note and to end up uh, uh, positively. So uh, you said your advice to the people who wants to do the change and and try our trading. So what would be the good start? The, uh, the good start is to sign up to the academy. But I mean, uh, in general, in general, I would say it's always good. It doesn't mean, my way was basically that I decided at some point of time to quit my job and to become a full-time trader. But that's not, that might not be the, the way for everybody. Some, of, some, some, some people are just, um, needs to have a plan B, a side income, want to generate some additional income. And then trading, they don't need a lot of time to do that. That's the right, that's then the right vehicle to do with trading because I cannot take, I cannot get another job and work another eight hours. And For sure. of course not, right? I also need a little bit of me time and stuff, right? Yeah. Time with family to... So, uh, to see your ch children exactly, grow. So, yeah. to see my, exactly, to see my, 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 my kids grow. So some people just need a little bit of side income, um, wants to have a plan, income. passive income, wants to have a, a plan B in case, you know, they, because nothing is secure anymore in today's environment, right? If they get fired, that they have maybe something, plan B becomes plan A, you never know. And then trading is the perfect vehicle for them. And I, do, I don't want to say, right, people come here and sign up for the academy. That's yeah. not the point. I want people to get educated and skilled before they jump into the market because ultimately what's going to happen and I gonna, can sign this on a piece of paper they, they're going to lose everything at some point of time if they're not educated and skilled. They're going to have some lucky shots maybe in the beginning. Beginning yeah. we call this the um, lucky beginners phenomenon. Yeah. Right? This always happens like I make, I had five, six winners in a row but consistently they're going to lose if they're not skilled and if they don't know how to properly um, manage their risk. One thing uh, for sure, uh, uh, I will be definitely the one to subscribe to your uh, predictions Instagram uh, profile. Uh, but there is no more. There is no more. Yeah, I know. But, <laughs> but still, what we have now is yeah. the, change, the change. And the change is log about innovation, about the leaps and jumps and steps people are taking. Yeah into the unknown but if you want to uh, uh, lower down the risk you have to get to know what you are jumping in 
and learn about it, read about it, and definitely uh, visit your website or, or sign up for the academy. But one thing is for sure, you shouldn't be uh, jumping without parachute. You should be uh, uh, leveraging the risk, or, or, or yes. uh, you should ma manage. Sorry, manage, manage the, risk, the risk. Manage the risk and and uh, take uh, easy step. Uh, you should not step. even jump with parachute if you have never jumped uh, by yourself with parachute. So tandem jump. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like skydive Dubai, right? You yeah. don't jump alone from the yeah, plane. You sure. jump with somebody. Else. I cannot because I'm more ready. <laughs> and I'm too scared. For this shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's my excuse. And I will do it definitely. But I don't need this adventure. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> for sure, Bern. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Really, really nice pleasure. talking to you. And uh, I'm sure we will be uh, seeing each other and talk uh, more about this. And if uh, our viewers have any comments or something else, we will forward this. Course, and yes. let's let's keep the story about uh, trading rolling. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for having. Thank me. you very much. Thank you. This was uh, vlog the change. What to say that? Uh, but uh, the change is the only constant in life, as you see. Uh, in one January 2015, Bernd ch changed his personal and his business life, and uh, now he's happy and passionate about what he's doing. Absolutely. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, of course, uh, make sure to like and subscribe this and to our channel, and follow us in the new adventures of the change.